uh, I'm not going to talk too much more. The Stearns have talked too much today. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to ask Adrian to come on up and uh, give a speech. Wow. First of all, thank you, everybody. I mean, as I look around at the people that came here from my family, I don't think anybody I know less than 20 years. And Jack was afraid to say how long Mimi and I have known each other, but it's 47. I'm proud to say so. I want to welcome my new family to our family. I don't really have a toast. I have a gift for Monica because a week and a half ago, Monica learned a little bit more about what she was getting into. And inside I have another fortune cookie that says, you have more power than you think. And so my gift to you is an effective negotiating two-day seminar. <laughs> so I'm I have no, I got it already. So is the graduate talent to ignore a minor and pass out and invent your pictures. So thank you. So <laughs> Hold the microphone closer. I, I hope you can hear me. Uh, speaking is so difficult. Um, so when Stu came to me and said that he was going to marry Monica, we were, I was delighted. We had uh, known Monica for many years and had grown to love her and were anxiously awaiting that announcement, and I could not have been more delighted. And then several months later, she went to both get new job and moved to a new city, and then get married. And I nodded, you know, but I thought, in these difficult economic times, they're going to both get new jobs, move to a new city, and then get married. We just met, and we're looking forward to see you more often. Uh, we also have uh, very old friends of ours, and don't think I can say thanks for coming, two friends. Uh, as parents of Monica, we couldn't be more proud. She was the best daughter you could ever imagine. Uh, and you were smart and understanding. As for Stu, you have very good qualities. I also wish that you were an uh, investment banker. <laughs> Monica's 31, so... If I can think about three ingredients of the longevity is love, patience, and understanding. So, best of luck to you. Thank you. Stu 
call me up. Yeah? And the week before. Right. Go right to Yeah. So, and then he said, Elena, I'm coming to celebrate Monica's birthday because Monica's birthday is, uh, it was exactly on Thanksgiving's Day, the 25th of November. And I said, perfect, I'm so happy. I'm here, yeah, please, I'm going to make a humongous party for us. <laughs> he said, good, I'm coming. But when he arrived, he said, I have something very special for Monica. It's very special gift. And I said, really, what is that? Can I see it? He said, no. <laughs> he said, no. This is something I have to give it to her myself. And he's keeping this gift for her. And I said, wonderful. But then he, I was pinching him. I said, tell me, what are you having in that box? <laughs> I told him, what are you having in this little box? And then finally he said, oh. I'm going to propose Monica. <gasps> and I said, really? He said, yes. It's time. <laughs> I don't know how to follow up to any of that. So it's all beautiful. But I am truly honored that you did ask me to be a part of your special day. Um, especially since I guess I'm considered a matron of honor now that I got married five months ago to my husband, Tim. <laughs> Where Monica was my maid of honor, and she got so horribly embarrassed, Tim and I. So I took it with a grain of salt because I knew I would have my moment. Um, but I didn't. I really didn't know where to start. Should I start with uh, the the day they met, which was Halloween, where Nurse Monica walked up to a handsome Mexican stew with a poncho and mustache and sombrero. Um, little did she know. That, that was the man of her dreams under there. <laughs> Minus mustache, which don't worry. She convinced him to allow her to shave the next day. But I just know that she's gonna have a lot of success in her life and I'm so happy, Stu, that she met you because you are a perfect match. And I see how happy she is with you every single day. And I'm just so happy for the both of you. Okay, love you. together. Um, most of the people that know me know that I'm a chef and I've probably dragged Stu around the world and country to eat probably some of the weirder stuff this planet has to offer and he's been a trooper the whole way through. Uh, it's been pretty amazing. Uh, Monica, I've only known in recent years and I think I can speak for all of us in that we love you and you're as part of our family if not Maybe more than Stu at this point. <laughs> anyway, uh, we did have a slideshow of me and Stu's last trip to Thailand, but unfortunately the projector's not working. <laughs> so I did write something, I wasn't sure if I was going to speak or not, and so I did write something very small, just actually during the photo session outside before this. Um, so just three little things that. You know, I'm no one to be giving advice, that's for sure. <laughs> but I think are important and important in life and and when you're starting something new and starting a new phase in your lives and a phase together in the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration, find the meaning of life and infinite beauty of the universe within the littlest things, and most importantly, within each other. The adventure of life is found within the impermanence. Be fearless, challenge yourselves to walk with a constant glow to your eyes, and as loudly as possible. And with that, I love you guys both, and uh, I wish you guys the greatest of luck.
Now, if uh, I get an invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah.